Okay, there was a problem trying to record audio for this little uh, tutorial, so I'm recording the audio separately, and let's see if I can make this work. So we're going to take a walkthrough of how to make the Guardian form uh, work for you. And uh, so we start off, I need some building blocks for the blocks I'm going to have to break. I'll, I'll need some tridents, so I've got the bone block, and I've got the blue stained glass. Uh, those are, there's going to be three blocks that we break in each of these pods, and uh, those will be the ones that we have to replace. Uh, for every pod we want to activate, we need two tridents, one for each piston that's a part of this. So we'll go ahead and take those tridents. Take the ones that have the impaling four or five on them, because uh, that's, the idea is to grind these up as quickly as possible so that you can uh, be generating that experience. The next thing to do is we need to get down here uh, to the pods themselves. You can fly down, you can fall down, you can take the elevators and jump over the wall. But uh, looking at these pods, you can see that there are several tridents in each of them. Each pair of tridents representing a player that has tossed tridents in there. And that is how each player generates their own experience when when another player is not online, essentially, or when a player who's already done this. I've done all 25 of these already, so uh, trying to find one that has just a few uh, has proved a little fruitless, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. Uh, some keys and caveats here. You don't want to get too close because you don't want to accidentally pick up everybody else's trident, and therefore they have to come in and redo this themselves. But uh, we just have three blocks that we need to remove. So we're going to have these two glass blocks and a bone block. Uh, I suggest using a silk touch. You know, waste not, want not sort of thing. You'll see anything that uh, breaks and falls into the stream uh, will get picked up. Uh, otherwise, um, you know, we just try to waste as little as possible. Now, it doesn't happen in this video, but occasionally when you do this, a guardian will pop out. Um, you got to deal with that when that happens. Uh, but otherwise, uh, once you've broken them, then you just throw in your tridents. One for each of the pistons. So one there, and then one here. Then it just becomes a, a matter of replacing the blocks. So start first with the glass block and place that there. Then your bone blocks, one there, and one there. And after that, you're pretty much good to go. Again, you don't want to get too close, you know, so I snuck up to pick up that last uh, piece of glass there, but you don't want to get too close to the pod because you don't want to accidentally pick up the tridents again, or, you know, worse yet, everybody else's tridents. Uh, how many of these do you need to do? I've done all 25 of them, uh, but when I was constructing it, Two was enough to repair my tools rather quickly. I suggest most people to do at least five. Uh, it gives you a really good rate. But, you know, ideally, you can do all 25. I say go for it. I mean, if we've got the tridents for it, then go for it. Uh, you can see as the tridents go back and forth, they'll, or excuse me, as the pistons go back and forth, they'll work the tridents down uh, towards the bottom where they work on the, uh, the guardians there. The bone block uh, is the solid block that keeps the uh, the guardian low. We use a glass block on the other piston. It prevents the guardian from glitching out. I have found I've, in the past, in the original design, I used two bone blocks, and I was just having trouble where occasionally one of them would glitch through that solid block and fall, fall out. By having that glass block there, it seems to have a place to go. Sometimes when you hit them, they bounce around a little bit before they die. Um, by having that configuration of the blocks, I, I'm, I'm getting the best result. I mean, again, for those of you that have, have uh, experienced the, the Guardian Farm, it's difficult to argue with the results. But uh, anyways, after you've done one pod, again, I suggest you do all of them um, but not doing that do at least five uh, we have the tridents up above uh, for you to do that we have the drown farm to make even more tridents uh, when you're there repairing your tools you know take the take the time and enchant a few tridents you know we're looking for in impaling four or five uh, no loyalty and no riptide 
Um, so some of those do have channeling on them, which if you're here during a thunderstorm, it is a sight to behold. Uh, but otherwise, uh, once you have your pod set up, then uh, it's just a matter of going back up to the top. So part of the reason that we've got the vines on the wall here is so that you have a easy way to climb up and out. Uh, you could fly up, you could take the water elevators up, or you can just take these stairs. Now, everybody on the tour has seen uh, the Guardian Farm in action. You know, this is one of those places we like to take people to level them up and show them how it works. But again, once you turn the switch on, then you can look down uh, and see that the pistons are moving. Uh, another way to know that you've done this correctly is you should see from those pods that you've thrown tridents into, you should see the little targeting uh, beams that come in. Uh, again, I've done all of these, so at one point or another, I see all of these guys try to hit me. You don't have to worry about getting hit. Um, the targeting beam is in response to them recognizing you're the one that's hitting them. So then they try to hit back. Uh, however, they get killed before they can ever get a lock on you. But it is a great visual indicator that you've done everything correctly, that you've, you've put it all together correctly. So, uh, as far as that goes, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. You're pretty much done with the whole thing. Uh, again, I suggest doing them all. Uh, I suggest getting all of them activated. Uh, it just makes your, your repair time... Uh, that much faster when you uh, when you come here either to repair your tools or to level up uh, you know for you know doing enchantments or what have you so uh, again the blocks uh, that we have uh, yeah keep getting that experience uh, the blocks that we have here you can uh, just go ahead and put them away so the bone bone block and the glass blocks it's not necessary that you use those. Uh, it, I believe, just based on my experience, it's necessary that you use a solid block where I'm using it and you use a glass where I'm using it. Do you have to use this for those? No, but aesthetically, I think it looks nice. So uh, it's what I had a lot of at the time that I was building it. Uh, so that's why uh, I'm using those uh, that down there. Uh, as far as the ones that uh, we broke and went into the water streams, they eventually come up uh, into the uh, into the collection system. So you should be able to see those in the chest. There we go. So you got the the glass and the bone blocks. Go ahead and I can go ahead and take those out and uh, just put them away here. Uh, these tend to be pretty plentiful items. Um, the guardian or excuse me the drown farm that we have here generates a lot of bone as a part of the byproduct so bone block uh pretty easy for us to continue to come by so go ahead and make some uh, bone block here we definitely have more than we need so if you need it for fertilizers or what have you uh this is a uh, it's not a fantastic source, not obviously as good as a skeleton farm, not, but not a bad source uh, of bone block. But there you go. That's that's it. That's the whole thing. This video is probably longer than it needs to be. Uh, I will work on repairing the rest of my tool. And you guys have fun in the realm. If you need help, just let me know.